What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. This week I want to show you guys the litter from a few weeks ago. At this time it may be three, four weeks, maybe two weeks, depending on when you guys see this versus when I uploaded it. But this is that blood litter, that blood Key West, the mystery boa, the one I wasn't sure if it was going to prove, that gave me such a banging looking litter. I'm really impressed with these. They just shed out and I thought it was a good time to give you an update. I want to take the babies, turn this camera around, show you off what we're looking at show you some of the key west that mystery annery boa we'll see how it's doing and let's see where we go from there here we are guys this is the male key west power glow 100 het blood also het annery to which we now found out to a female hypo blood these were born on 314 today is 325 and this is litter b so let's take a look at what we have they've all shed out and they're such incredible looking babies. This is that Annery Boa who is doing fantastic. She or he still has not shed yet, but I believe that she or he is going to do very well. Really pretty looking stuff. You can see that Key West popping in those boas, especially that one in the back, that one underneath the pile of snakes. Just incredible looking. Look at this Key West blood. This camera is never going to pick it up. And I say it on every video that these snakes, and whenever I find a really nice one, I say it, but this just doesn't show uh, at least in my viewfinder just incredible looking snakes and i am a believer of key west i've never really worked with it much but wow does it do some cool stuff to these boas it just brings their their pattern and their color up a completely different notch like look at this guy here i, I hope that you can at least get the picture of it but this is just a normal normal key west boa and well, maybe see if I can point to it. This one right here. Just a normal Key West boa, but the pattern and the flashing and the just the sides on it are really beautiful. You can kind of see that there's some blood Key West. Look at the tail on that. I'm just overall very impressed with how these came out. There are going to be a few holdbacks from here for sure. I want to put this camera on a tripod and take a closer look at some of these babies. I hope I didn't bite off more than I can chew by taking out this many babies at once, but what I want to show here is this is a combination of a hypo blood Key West, a potentially super hypo blood Key West, a hypo Key West, and a Key West, as well as a blood Key West. So I wanted to give you guys the whole gambit of stuff. Look at how well these bloods merge in with the background of a substrate like this. It only shows you how how these have survived so long in the wild because they just match perfectly. And this is just a beautiful looking animal. I, I don't think the camera will pick it up. At least it won't pick it up on my cell phone. I'm hoping that my uh, actual camera that I film these videos with will. What I'm seeing incredibly different in these animals are the tail patterns. And actually, I, I kind of lied. This, I believe, is a normal versus a Key West. So I think that's a cool combination to take a look at. I am still learning Key West, as I said in my other videos. But if you look at the difference in color and pattern, normal boa that's, you know, het, has other hets in it versus a Key West, I mean, to me, there's a difference. To me, there's an incredible difference, at least in person there is, and I hope in camera there is as well. I'm going to put a couple of these back so we can zone in on just a few of them and really show them off. So this is the first one I really like, that it just continues to grab my attention. And it doesn't, you know, it's a blood, but it is a blood Key West, and there's just something about this animal that every time I open that bin after they've shed, it grabs my attention. Its tail is just frosted looking. I don't know what it is. I wish I could tell you. It's just sometimes you see something and you say, that's incredible. I'm going to keep it. And as much as I don't need more bloods as holdbacks, I may have to. It is a male, so I don't really need more males. And I really don't need more females either, but I may just have to keep it no matter what. It's just a really incredible looking animal. Let me go grab another one that really pops out at me just for the sake of showing you guys what we have. I believe this guy is a hypo or super hypo blood, potentially Key West, and it's just a beautiful animal. The The pastel colors on this, the, the way this boa hits is totally different. This one is a female. The way the side patterns look, it's almost a lavender-ish boa. It, it's just a really beautiful animal. I, I don't know what else to say about it other than 
I need it to move it closer to the camera so hopefully you guys can appreciate it. It's just a crazy looking snake. It's from a blood perspective, and you all know I'm biased towards blood, but I, I, it has to be the Key West that's doing this because I've made super hypo bloods. Now, if you're looking for the most saturated, the reddest blood, this is not gonna be the animal. The most saturated red bloods are gonna probably be just a normal blood with no hypos, and although I've made some, I have a really beautiful litter that I know the mom's made some killer stuff for me in the past, but I think the Key West is gonna subtract from that. If you want the red, red bloods, you don't want a Key West in it, from what I'm finding out. But if you want this pastel looking animal, I think that's what Key West is doing for this. And this one is a female. I wanna go grab another one, show her off or him off. This girl here, this girl here is that anatheristic animal. And it is a female, because I just checked before I pulled her out. She has not shed yet. And I am just cannot wait for her to shed because I think she's gonna be a ridiculously good looking animal. You can see why I wanted to show her off is that her belly button or her umbilical did heal off. It, it absorbed, got smaller, shrunk and crusted over. I think she's gonna do just fine as she continues to grow. Granted, she is the last one to shed. All the others have shed except for her. I think in the next day or so, she's gonna shed off. It's only been about 10 days. I found most boas shed within five to seven days with stragglers going up to 10 to 14 days. Sometimes a little bit longer than that, but that's kind of the rare exception to it. And she is gonna be probably my keeper. She's that boa that wasn't expected in the litter and proved out that the, the two boas, the parent boas that I somewhat suspected uh, had had anery in them, proved out that they actually did. So I'm really happy about this this little girl right here. One more snake I want to show off before showing off the final animal is just bringing it back to the basics. Let's look at a beautiful hypo animal. This girl, I believe, is possibly super hypo and is potentially Key West. Again, I have somebody who's coming on our Patreon calls, uh, Thomas Cobb from Boa Addicts, who works a lot with Key West, and I'm gonna plan to show him these guys, uh, that way we can take a look. And he's, again, he's he works a lot more with Key West than I do, and he will potentially help me ID a few of these guys or give us some tips on what to look for when identifying Key West and Boas, so I really appreciate that. Again, I do appreciate all my patrons. This is a male here, and as you can tell, this is not a promotional video because I keep saying I'm gonna sell or I'm gonna keep all these babies, so clearly I am going to uh, not sell many of these. I do have a couple more litters coming, and I have to be careful because I wanna keep everything I make. They're just such beautiful animals. I treat them all as babies of the parents that I enjoyed and I raised up, so I, I just really enjoy that aspect. I wanna show off one more animal before we close this video, and I think it's worth the wait. This is the one last animal I wanna show off before we close out this video, because to me, this is a special animal. I spent a lot of money on this animal because I really wanted it. At the time, this is a male blood paradigm Key West. So I got this from the same person I got the other one from, the father of this litter. I don't think the litter that I bred him to this year is gonna prove. However, I did breed him. He had maybe three, four months off. I bred him to another female, and I think she's sitting on some really good babies. We will see what they actually make. I can't get too excited about it because that's just, I don't wanna even think about it until they're here. That way I can't get let down if she slugs out or doesn't give me anything good. So this guy is just an incredible animal that the cameras never do anything good for, but he is a visual blood, visual paradigm, Key West. Just a beautiful example of what this morph should look like. As a baby, it was a beautiful example. And he's just a super friendly, very calm animal. Everybody knows I love blood, as I mentioned a few times in this video. This guy's just perfect. So with that said, guys, I hope everybody liked this video. Please drop a comment, share, like, subscribe, do what you can to help support this channel. If you wanna join a community, like I mentioned earlier, come check out the Patreon. There's ranges from $3, which is less than a cup of coffee in most locations, all the way up to $300 if you want that one-on-one -on -one mentorship where you and I sit down multiple times a month. I help promote you, I teach you everything I know, things that I've spent years to learn. So with that said, guys, I appreciate you all. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next week, let's keep it moving.